the stage. The, this uh, second or shaping stage begins as the alaka, which is an Arabic word meaning a leech. And when I was first asked about this, did the human embryo look like a leech? And when I thought about this for a few minutes, I realized that it uh, resembled the leech very closely, as you will uh, see. During the early stage, the embryo loses its rounded shape and elongates and until it takes the shape of a leech. And this uh, picture here, uh, I went over to our library and got out a book on leeches and uh, had my artist draw that exactly from the textbook showing a leech. And here is a, a human embryo uh, here, uh, and they're on the 21, 22 days. And I think you have to agree that they look very much alike. In fact, you see that the leech has segments, just like a worm, and the human embryo has, uh, has the, these same segments. In fact, we still have a remnant of those segments in our bodies. If any of you have ever had shingles, ever heard of anyone having shingles, you always get the eruptions and, and bands across the area that's infected, and those bands are the remnants of those uh, segments. So this is uh, what I believe to be the, the leech-like appearance of the, the human embryo. Uh, the, uh, and, I, and I believe in my descriptions in my book, I talk about it having a leech-like appearance. The similarity between the, the embryo and a leech is amazing. The embryo is attached to the wall of the uh, chorion, chorionic sac, which is attached by chorionic villi to the endometrium or lining of the uterus. Uh, and so the human embryo is attached to the lining of the uterus, just like a leech will attach to your skin. I don't know whether you have leeches here or not, but we have certain lakes in Canada. If you go in swimming, these leeches will attach to your skin and suck the blood. So the analogy there is, is quite uh, uh, amazing. Uh, initially, the embryo acquires a primitive circulatory and nervous system during this early stage. Thus, the term alica refers to the leech-like external appearance of the embryo as well as, as well as to its clinging relationship to the uterus and is an appropriately descriptive term for this stage. Another meaning mentioned by the interpreters for alica is similar to a blood clot. Uh, and, and the external appearance of the embryo during this phase is similar to that of blood due to the appearance of the primitive heart and the cardiovascular system. If you look at the picture at the bottom, it shows a, an embryo of about uh, 22 or 23 days, and uh, the bottom is the yolk sac, and the embryo is the part of the top, and you see all these blood vessels, and if you were to see an embryo at that stage, and I should say that uh, uh, most embryos uh, will undergo spontaneous abortion at about this stage. In other words, when they were about two or three weeks old, uh, they will often uh, spontaneously abort. That means that they just are expelled from the mother's uterus uh, without a, a known cause, although we've done a lot of studies on this and find that many of them have very abnormal uh, chromosomes and they couldn't have survived if they had lived. So, uh, as we used to so say in the old days, this was God's way of ridding uh, the body of something that was very abnormal. But anyway, we do know that they are aboard at this early stage, and uh, they do look like a clot of blood, because when they pull away from the uterus, then you have all these uh, exposed uh, blood vessels which have the bloody appearance. So this explains one interpretation for Alica as a blood clot. I prefer the, the one being a leech-like structure. Uh, now, the blood does not circulate until the end of the third week, but on the 21st day, the heart of the embryo connects with blood vessels in the embryo, the connecting stock and the chorion, and the blood starts to circulate, as you, you could see in this diagram in the bottom. Thus, the embryo takes the appearance of a blood clot, even though its blood is fluid. And these features incorporate the other meaning of a blood clot for the alica phase. Now, the next